Hey everybody, it's GED question of the daytime, and we're looking at the question from February 9th. I'm way behind, I know. I'm working on catching up, y'all. Um, so let's see, it says the expression A, and I can read these parentheses as times the quantity. Okay, so A times the quantity of B minus C is equivalent to which of the following? Okay, so it's super important that you understand something. And so in order for me to do this problem, I wanna go back to a multiplication problem that nobody here struggles with, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna do the problem five times 21. And I promise you, I'm gonna show you um, how this relates uh, to the problem that we did over there. But what I wanna show you is that since the beginning of math, We've always done the same thing with multiplication. Algebra is no different. So if you were to do this problem, if you were going to try to do this problem in your head like you, but I'm imagining what if you had to do this problem by hand, you weren't sure what it was, you would probably write it with the longer number on top. The shorter number on the bottom is what most students do. This is not necessary, by the way. This is just what we call our algorithm. This is a step, one step-by-step -step process for multiplying. And then um, what we would do is we would take this single digit number here and we would begin passing it out. First, we would multiply the five times the one. Five times one is five. Then, whoops, come on. Then once we were done multiplying this five times this one, we would pass this five out to the next number. And we would multiply this five times the 20 or the, the two that's in the tens place is really worth 20. 5 20s is of course 100 or 10 tens and so I end up writing that 10 right there um, and so we end up passing out um, multiplication and so it's interesting to me that a lot of students forget this but this principle actually has a name the fact that multiplication passes out um, over in this case, multi-digit numbers, or another way you can think of this, this is 21, but this is also 20 plus 1. Well, that's what we did. We multiplied the 5 times the 1, and we multiplied the 5 times the 20. Um, and so we kind of passed it out over this expression. So that has a name. That has a name. So let me erase here this wonderful property of multiplication that it passes out over addition or subtraction. And you were saying, why are you saying addition or subtraction? I'll remind you again that 21 is the same as 20 and 1, or 20 plus 1, OK? Um, and so this wonderful principle has a name, and it's called the distributive property. Distributive property. What the distributive property does is it just reminds us that that's how multiplication works. It's not some new rule. We've always been doing this. It says multiplication passes out over addition or subtraction. Over addition or subtraction. So when I see this problem that I have up here, A times the quantity B minus C, I'm not saying just A times B. I'm saying I want A to multiply by everything in this parentheses, the entire expression, the whole B minus C. Um, just like if I wanted 5 to multiply across all of 21, I'd have to pass out a 5. Same thing here. In order to make this work, I'm going to have to pass this out. First, I'm going to pass out the A to the B. Now you might be thinking, Kate, a and B aren't numbers. How in the world am I going to multiply them? Well, the great news is that we solve that problem very, very simply in algebra class. When we want two things to multiply them, multiply together, and we don't know how to simplify them, we just shove them really tight, uh, close up next to each other with nothing in between. So A, if I want A to multiply by B, I just put AB. This is A times B. Okay. Now, my minus is going to stay here. Um, it's still a um, um, subtraction problem, but I'm not just going to write the C. I have got to pass this A out here. So A times C is AC. And that's this idea that multiplication passes out over parentheses. 
Um, and so, even though I have no idea what A, B, or C are, I know that I can just pass this A out. And so, the correct answer then is C. A, B, A, C. Notice, both of the expressions that were, or both of the um, terms, I should say, the B and the C, that were in the parentheses ended up getting an A passed out to them. Okay, great. If you have any questions about this or the distributive property, be sure to drop them in the comments.